Hi, in this video, we shall be looking at some problems on patterns in a numerical context that one could expect to find in the math kangaroo contest for grades 3 and 4. Before we get started, I would like to remind you that you'll get the most out of this video if you pause and attempt the problems yourselves before I reveal the solutions. Before we begin, I would like to mention that patterns are everywhere, and the same patterns are often found in several different places. For instance, in nature, the spiral pattern of the Fibonacci sequence is found everywhere. In this first question, we are asked to consider 25 boys and 19 girls in a dance group. Every week, two more boys and three more girls join the dance group. And so, the question is, after how many weeks will there be the same number of boys and girls in the dance group? I encourage you to pause the video here to attempt the problem before I work through the solution. Here is the first solution. At the beginning, the difference between the number of boys and girls in the dance group is 25 for 25 boys and 19 for 19 girls, and that equals 6. It is given that two more boys and three more girls join the club every week. Hence, after every week, the difference between the number of boys and the number of girls of the group will decrease by 1. Therefore, if there are two more boys every week, we will have 27 boys the following week, minus uh, three more girls the following week, so 22, and that equals 5. Therefore, the difference between the boys and the girls each week goes down by 1. To compensate for the original difference of six more boys, six weeks are therefore needed, or the number of boys and girls will be the same after six weeks. Here is the second solution. It is possible to approach this question by finding the number of boys and girls after one, two, three, and more weeks until these numbers become the same. So, after one week, boys become 25 plus two as two more boys join the club, that equals 27, and girls become 19 plus 3 as 3 more girls join the club, and that equals 22. Then at week 2, or after 2 weeks, uh, there will be 29 boys and 25 girls, and then we continue until we reach the 6th week, or after 6 weeks, and then boys will be equal to 37, and girls will be equal to 37 by counting systematically until we reach the end. Um, hence, the solution is 6 weeks, or the solution is A. Uh, note that you will probably not choose this approach if you can solve the problem in a different way, especially when dealing with larger numbers. It requires lots of calculations, and hence it is not recommended. In the second question, we are asked to consider a kangaroo that puts on 5 kilograms every winter and loses 4 every summer. His weight is steady in the spring and autumn. In the spring of 2008, the kangaroo weighed 100 kilograms. Thus, how much did he weigh in the autumn of the year 2004? Again, I encourage you to pause the video to try out this problem yourselves before hearing the solution. Here is the solution. The pattern of the weights change described in the given problem suggests that from the spring of one year to the spring of the next year, the kangaroo gains one kilogram. It means that if in the spring of 2008 the kangaroo was 100 kilograms, uh, then in the spring of 2004, exactly four years earlier, he was 100 minus 4 equals 96 kilograms. However, we are interested in the kangaroo's weight two seasons later in the autumn of 2004. In the summer of 2004, the kangaroo lost four kilograms. So in the autumn of 2004, he was 96 minus four equals 92 kilograms. Hence, the weight of the kangaroo in the autumn of 2004 was a 92 kilograms. In this third question, we are asked to consider John who wants to send as many invitations as possible to the children of his school for the math fair. For this reason, he started an email chain. Each person who received an email from the chain was asked to forward the email to two people not yet included in the mailing list. John sent the first email to his friend Peter. As required, 
Peter sent the email to two other people. After two rounds of the chain, seven people in total received the email as 1 plus 2 plus 4 equals 7. Then, how many people in total did receive the invitation by email after four rounds of the chain? Again, I encourage you to pause the video to attempt the problem on your own. Here is the first solution. Draw a tree diagram to keep track of the number of people who received email invitations. After three rounds, we have one, which is Peter, plus two of his friends, plus four people from two people, and then plus eight people from those four last people, which equals 15. So 15 people have received the email invitation. To represent the situation after four rounds, we need to extend the tree diagram by one more column. It is easy to see that this column will contain 16 boxes as we have two people per person and there were eight people in this last round. So we shall have 16 additional people aware of this math there by email invitation. Um, hence, a total of one plus two plus four plus eight and then plus 16 people will be aware, which equals 31. Hence, a total of 31 people will receive an email invitation after four rounds. This number does include Peter. Here's the second solution. By understanding the pattern and the relationship, we conclude that the number of people who receive an email in each next round is twice the number of people from the preceding round. Thus, as we saw in the previous solution, we have the sequence 1, 2, 4, 8, and so on. To calculate the number of people after the fourth round, we add the first five numbers in the sequence. So we'll have 1, which is Peter, plus 2 of his friends, plus 4, plus 8, and finally plus 16 to give us 31, as with the previous solution. Hence, the number of people in total that received an invitation by email after four rounds is C, 31. In this fourth question, we are asked to consider Meta, who collects photos of famous sportsmen. Each year, the number of her photos equals the sum of the numbers of her photos in the previous two years. In 2008, she had 60 photos, and this year, 2009, she has 96 photos. Then, how many photos did she have in 2006? Again, I encourage you to pause the video to try out this question before seeing the solution. Here is the solution. Meta collects photos of famous sportsmen. Each year, the number of Meta's photos equals the sum of the numbers of her photos in the previous two years. It is given that in 2008, she had 60 photos, and in 2009, she had 96 photos. We will work backwards to find the number of photos she had in 2006. Photos in the year 2009 equals photos in the year 2008 plus photos in the year 2007. Then, 96 photos equals 60 photos plus photos in the year 2007. Therefore, in 2007, we have 96 minus 60 equals 36 photos for the year 2007. We continue in a similar fashion for the photos in the year 2008. We have um, the photos in 2008, which is equal to the photos in the year 2007, plus the photos in the year 2006. Then, 60 photos equals 36 photos, plus photos in the year 2006. Therefore, Photos in the year 2006 equals 60 minus 36, which equals 24 photos for the year 2006. Hence, the number of photos Meta had in 2006 is B, 24. This last question asks us to consider Camilla, who wrote all the whole numbers from 1 to 100 in order into a chart with five columns. Part of the complete chart is shown in the picture to the right. Camilla's younger brother cut a section of the table and erased the numbers from some of the cells. Then, which one of these fragments below may represent this section? Again, for this last question, I encourage you to pause this video to attempt the question on your own. Here is a solution for this final question. It is important to discover the pattern for the unit digits of the numbers in the table. Numbers that end on 1 or 6 are only in column 1. Numbers that end in 2 or 7 are only in column 2. Numbers that end in 3 or 8 are only in column 3. Numbers that end in 4 or 9 are only in column 4. And numbers that end in 5 or 10 are only in column 5. We need to determine which of the table sections in the proposed answer options satisfies the pattern. We can see that table sections A, D, and E do not work. 
for example, in table section A, we have 43 in the second column, but it ends with 3, so that is not possible for column 2. Then, in the table section B, the numbers satisfy the pattern of the unit's digits. However, the number 58 is above the number 52, and as we know that the numbers increase from top to bottom, this is not possible. Therefore, the only feasible section of the table is that of C. Hence, the answer is C. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have any comments, questions, and or concerns, feel free to visit mathkangaroo.ca or send us an email at info at mathkangaroocanada.com.